Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today First of all, you may notice the background is different. I'll get to that um, in a second. But today, we're going to be adding the brightest stars. So all of the custom objects um, we have made recently. All of these are real stars as well, remember. These aren't just fake ones that I added. And these are all real stars. And we've all got all the statistics and all of the luminosity, mass, and brightness all correct. So, yeah, it should be pretty fun. But, yeah, just a um, quick explanation of the background here. This, um, well, as you um, should know... It's now December, so I thought I'd put more of a Christmassy sort of themed red and white Santa background on. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we've got so we've got like a cool little background, and maybe I'll make it like different every episode. But yeah, we've got this background today. But yeah, there we go. So also before we get started, actually, just a many many thanks to all the subscribers who are subscribing recently. It's insane. We only hit 1,600 recently, and we're already halfway to 1,700. And it's just, it's literally only been a week or two since we hit 1.6. So if we can go up like 100 every week, that'd be amazing. But yeah, just many, many thanks for um, everyone who subscribed, left a like, commented. Let's keep it up. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get 2,000 before the end of the year. Let's see. Could we do it? What do you guys think? Like 2,000 before the end of the year? That that would be awesome if we could do that. But yeah, I won't push it too much. But let's see. Maybe we can. Anyways, so let's get into this. So... Um, this was actually um, also a comment by one of you guys, so many, many thanks to um, the commenter. We've done we've done something similar to this before, but this is going to be insane. So we're going to bring all the brightest stars. So we've got R136A1 here. So this is the brightest star ever discovered in luminosity, I believe. So it said put them in the air or orbit of Uranus, so around this area here. So let's just add the um, ring in. So it's pretty much in this blue line here of my custom Uranus. So we need to add all the brightest stars in this area. So this is going to get insane. So we've got R136A1. So next up, we're going to add R136A2. So we're going to go ahead and put you in still mode. We're going to go ahead and place you there. Then we've got R136... Oh, yeah, R1... I can never say this. R136A3. So there's the third star of that system. Then we've got R136C, so that's one of the other stars we've also custom created since they're sadly not in the game. So we've got all of those guys. Next up we'll get Melnik34, so I believe this is the second most luminous star ever discovered, so there's that. Then next up, where, where is it? Um, blah, 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 where is it? Um, I can never spot it. There it is, the Pistol Star, so this is um, a lot larger than those guys, but yeah, this is also a very, very bright star as well, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Then next up we've got Eta Carone A because that is a very very bright star. So let's go ahead and place that there. And actually while I'm here, just let me just check the comment. Do I still have it up? Hmm. Let me see here. Um is Carone Okay, I think oh yeah, and Eta Carone B uh, is the last um, star we need here. So let's go and grab you as well. So let's place you just there, and then that now we're gonna go ahead and manually move all these just so they're surrounding the sun properly so let's um let's just put the pistol star there let's put all the biggest ones over here actually no no no. let's make it different let's put the biggest stars at opposite sides from each other just so we can get some real carnage going so our poor old uranus is going to get absolutely incinerated when we hit play it's right next to these stars so there we go let's move this guy a little further along and move that one as well so that looks pretty much right if you ask me if we just turn all that off they look like they're in a circle sort of shape there if we just turn all this off there you go, that looks pretty circular if you ask me, so there you go, right. So, this Christmas themed solar system is definitely going to get a very hard time when I hit play. Just look at the size of these. Oh my god, look how bright it is. These are like the top dogs of the Milky Way for brightness. Like, these are going to be absolutely insane. Look at, the, look at the sun, look how bright all this is. Anyone watching in the dark and have full brightness on their phone, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> that will blind you. Alright, so... Let's see what we got next. So yeah, let's go to Earth. Let's just have a quick peek from Earth, because we always ha like to have a little look from Earth. Wow, look how mucked up it is, because of all the stars. It's all just like, goofed up. All right, let's um, just go ahead and do that. Wow, look how bright it is here. Once we um, take all these off. The clouds, we can keep the clouds, but the atmosphere like mucks it all up. So there's that. All right, so let's land in the North Pole here, just above Greenland. So, oh, if I can even see Greenland, it's sort of all bugged out. But yeah, somewhere, somewhere around here. So the North Pole, let's go and land here. Okay, so let's have a look around. So, 
There's the regular sun. Wow, the clouds look so cool with all these bright stars. Look at this. This looks this is really cool. I really hope they um, update the surface textures for the planets because if these were like high detail textures, that would be so cool. But anyways, so there's the sun, as we can see. Then we've got um, R13. I just call it R R1 F R13 um, for short. Then we've got the Pistol Star, one of the largest stars. Then we've got Melnick 34 or Milnick, however you want to say it. R1, that's, that's the normal one. The one in the game. Next up is Eta Carinae B. There's Eta Carinae A on the horizon. Damn that star. It's powerful. But if we just check its luminosity here, it's five I think that's five million, I wanna say. Yes, yeah, so I think that's about five million or five hundred thousand, but I think it's five mil. So there's Eta Carinae B. That is a hundred mil or a hundred thousand or one million, I think. I can never tell the difference. R1 is 8 million on the other hand, so yeah, this is a lot, lot more, more powerful than that is. Even though this is bigger, it's not as powerful. This has more mass and it's brighter, but it just it's a little smaller. There's Melnick again, there's a Pistol Star. Then last up, we've got, okay, then we've got that, and then, yeah, this is the last star here, so R136C. And then there's another one there, if you look carefully. If we just go under the clouds, I oh, know you can't really see it, but if you look carefully in the middle of the screen, you can see the little blue circle there. That's where the star is. And you can just see it glowing on the horizon there. So pretty cool. You may just be able to see it somewhere here. If you look carefully. You can see the glow there. You can't see my mouse, I don't think. But you can see the glow there. So, yeah, there, there it is. You can see the star there. So, we're going to slow down time to literally real time. So we're going to put it to about one second. So let's go down here. Okay, minutes. So seconds. Yeah, we're in the seconds now. So let's make it real time. So... One second a second, so yeah, that's pretty much close enough. So, let's hit play, and let's see what happens. So, play. The temperature on Earth is just going to completely rise. This is going to be insane. Wow, this is going to be crazy. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, these, these are already disintegrating. Look, they're already, they're already losing material. Oh, my gosh. All right, so you can see all the objects here. All of the asteroid belt objects, all the smallest objects in the system are just getting roasted. Venus! Already, Venus is already 8,000 degrees, and we were only playing it for a few seconds. Let's lose the material. You can see all the clouds and stuff are shooting out of it if you look carefully as well. So, Venus looks like a star almost when you get close to it. Look at this. But that is a planet under there. Oh, we've got next. Mercury is also gone. Mars is gone. Earth is surviving somehow. Maybe it's because I played with the settings on it. I, I really don't know. Actually, I know why. Climate mode. That is usually what happens. So if we hit play now, there you go. Now you can see the. Um, temperature is just ramping up really really hot so there you go there's that so yeah the inner solar system is already gone pretty much let's have a look from planet 9 let's see what all this carnage looks like from here so here's planet 9 oh how bright it is here and this is the furthest object from the stars and this is it's really bright here look at this oh my god so if we just um wow that is insane so we just delete all that all of the particles look at this this is some planet 9 here this is pretty this is a pretty cool shot actually maybe i can use this as a thumbnail that's a really cool shot. Maybe I'll bring it a little... Maybe when I make the thumbnail, I'll bring it a little closer to the stars so we can actually see them all. But I think that's a really cool shot of um, Planet Nine there, actually. But anyways, back on track. So, yeah, even Planet Nine, you can see these no, or they see these stars, no problem. Let's check on Sedna. Because Sedna's a little closer than Planet Nine right now. So, oh, here you go. This is a little closer. So, oh, look how bright Sedna is. Sedna's never this bright. Sedna's always a dark... That's what it should look like. You can see in the top right there. But look how bright it is because of all these stars. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Alright, so let's keep hitting play. Let's go to Neptune this time. So we're going to go sort of really, really close to these now. Oh, Neptune. I'm so sorry, buddy. Wow, look how bright it is. It's like almost white coloured because it's so bright. So let's have a look. Okay, so Neptune. 4,000 degrees, it claims. Wow. Look at the stars there. So this one's like eclipsing over this one here. The pistol star. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's keep going. Let's speed it up a lot quicker now. So let's travel a few more seconds. Actually, let's go into the minutes, actually. So let's go to a... Few, a minute about two minutes uh, oh, sorry, or four four seconds uh, on the four minutes a second sorry so all right series you're not going to survive today buddy i don't think uh mr spock's going all those guys are uh, vesta we've got hygiea as well with all the them so all the asteroid belt objects there's the sun so we've got mercury as well venus venus is losing size look it's getting smaller there earth as well oh there's mars earth uh, there's Earth, so it's still warming up. Okay, now let's really increase the time here. Let's see what happens. Earth is just... Earth is roasting now. Okay, so there's uh, Venus. We've got to keep an eye on the stars as well, because we know 
this solar system like this would never ever work right like these stars are probably attracting to each other right now they're going to pull each other in and they're going to supernova nothing in this solar system will survive probably apart from planet nine if it gets lucky so yeah this is going to be insane so yeah inner planets if we just get a list of all the planets so we can actually see everything that's going on here so there's all our stars look at all these blue stars again sorry if anyone's watching this in the dark with brightness high because you probably just got your eyes just burnt out by these bright stars with your phone screen so jupiter saturn so we've got uranus and neptune they're just vaporizing even planet nine is roasting hot and it's so 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 far away and planet nine is even getting affected by this so this just shows how bright these stars actually are it's just insane so here's earth then we've got mars or venus is getting really small quickly because it probably has because venus has the biggest greenhouse effect due to its very very heavy atmosphere which it no longer has apparently look there's no atmosphere anymore it looks like the atmosphere is just gone still has a greenhouse effect value though which is pretty weird so then we've got Mercury, then we've got all of the small objects, we've got Eris there, Pluto's a little smaller, then we've just got all of the regular old dwarf planets. Then we've got the really, really small stuff here, which is just vaporising, as you can see, there's loads of smoke trails. So if we hit play, yeah, you can you can really see what's going on here, look at this. So this is, this is um, what's happening, look at, look at all the material that's getting shot out here, look at this. If we look carefully, if we just turn disable glows quickly, so if we go on settings here, if we just turn that off, you can see all of the... Um, smoke or all of the material which has been lost on these objects so pretty crazy stuff uh, anyways let's go out of this mode and let's hopefully none of the stars have collided yet okay the stars aren't moving but we only are traveling a few hours so it'll probably take them a few days months to get to um or start colliding so meanwhile the solar system is just gonna roast for a bit the sun's probably gonna survive but there you go look the first action charlico is about to crash into eta Carina a so this is one of the well this is the biggest star in the system against one of the smallest objects in the solar system so take your bets now and yeah it's gone <laughs> all right what we've got next oh sonic just crashed into melnik there was that uranus that just went that may be uranus um yep yeah, uranus is gone we've lost uranus yeah i thought it was uranus i saw a blue trail crash into the star there so that's gone these stars are now attracting each other so we've got r1 36a1 versus melnik 34 so the brightest and second brightest stars are going to go head to head Okay, so let's keep an eye out. So they're, they're going to collide first. So let's see what goes on here. So before these collide, those, so we'll just pause it there. Oh, they're getting close. Let's just get a final look at the system before a nova goes off, because we know a nova's going off, definitely. There's no way these would just make a bigger star and be done with. You can see here, that was probably the explosion of Uranus that caused that mark. So there's a good old sun. Look how small the poor old sun is. So we've got Jupiter, Saturn. A lot of objects have disappeared as well. Look, all of the smaller ones are starting to just disappear completely. We've still got Earth is somehow in one piece. We turn that off. Does that fix it? Okay, I don't know what's going on. All right, so yeah, that, that's all that's left. So it is slightly getting smaller. But there you go. Sadly, we didn't see him collide because I hit play. Stupid of me. But yeah, we've got one Nova already, which is just about to engulf the system. Oh my God. It's like broken the game. We're going to have to delete that. There we go. So you don't want it making it too slow, the simulation. So, wow, it put the, it put the time on it to minutes. Wow, can we not go any faster? Oh, it's broken the game. <laughs> Let me just quickly um, go ahead and save this so we can actually reopen it um, at a faster speed. For some reason, whenever you whenever a supernova goes off and then you get rid of it, it slows the simulation down even though the nova's gone. So it's very weird. Okay, which... Um, yeah, wh where is this save? Oh, dang it. Um, is it that one? Oh, there it is. You can see by the colours. Okay, so here we go. So this is what's left of our beloved solar system so far. So we've got, we've got a black hole Nova remnant with 15 masses of sun. So where did all that mass go? Well, yeah, it's probably all blew up in the Nova, actually. Pearl Neptune. Oh, look how hot it is. It's gone blue in temperature. <laughs> look at this. 13,000 degrees. That's hotter than some of these stars, isn't it? Actually, maybe not. Oh, no, it's hotter than Pistol Star. Look, this is 11,000. This is... Neptune here is even hotter than that. But you can see it is losing material. Is it any smaller in size? Yeah, it is getting smaller. Whoa, whoa! How did it suddenly get really big? Maybe it engulfed some of that supernova mass. Yeah, it's just got really big all of a sudden. What the heck? Oh, and now it's small again. What happened there? Oh, no, no, it's still big, actually. What, what happened there? Pretty weird. Okay, what have we got next? So, let's keep going. All right, hit play. Who's going to collide next? Wow, it really doesn't want to run any faster than this. Wow, that is insane. Maybe we'll have to keep deleting the particles. Wait, can it seriously not go any faster than this? Wow, it literally doesn't want to. Well, I guess we're going to have to um, use those little um, simulation settings just to um, play around with this option here, just so we can uh, get it to speed up a little more. There we go. Is that going to work? Let's do that. 
Wow, even with that setting, it doesn't want to go very fast. So as we can see here, Jupiter is now on a crash course with one of these two stars. Okay, let's keep going. Is it going to work? Oh, right. Really, this really doesn't want to work, does it? <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Because if, as soon as I delete all the particles, every single object starts shooting out particles again. So that, that doesn't help. But can we eventually get to somewhere? Let's have a look. Yeah, so we can't run any faster than that. So if we just save again, maybe that will fix it. Just delete particles, save. Please work. Come on. Wow, the computer really doesn't want to play this. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. So, right. How fast is this going to work? So, slow down time. Oh, it may work now. So, let's um, just put it to a reasonable time. So, let's put it to a few months. Hit play. Okay, please work. Oh, and it still wants to play every few hours. Well, this is pretty crazy stuff if it doesn't want to load. Maybe we won't be able to find out what happens. <laughs> it literally does not want to cooperate, does it? Well, one thing we can do is... We can delete all of the um, little um, outer objects because, think about it, these objects won't survive anyway, so we'll get rid of the Nova Remnant. Actually, should we? Let's just delete all of that stuff. There we go. Get rid of a giant chunk of these little um, planets here. Just get, just get rid of a few more like so, like that. There we go. Then just get rid of you, get rid of you, because they should have vaporized by now anyway, so there's that. So all that's left is Pluto, Mercury, Venus, all of the larger objects. Are left so that should um hopefully keep our system from um getting too slow so now let's try anything come on come on game well game really does not want to cooperate today guys this is this is insane maybe we'd have to reboot the whole game nah i don't want to do that but wow this is really does not want to cooperate maybe we'll try saving again maybe since there's less objects in the simulation now just give it a go open yeah that supernova really did cause a problem though so there we go all right let's try this Come on, please work, game. Come on, any faster? No, it does no. It literally does not want to go. So, how's this going to work? So, hmm. Interesting. So, it literally, you can see it will not run any faster than this. <laughs> this is this is hectic. This is, doesn't it? Oh, wow. I don't know how Neptune got this big, though. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> it's a bit got bigger in radius, but the mass is the same. That is just, what is going on there. All right, um, what about the black hole? that doing anything all right so i guess we'll just have to manually work out what happens here since the computer just doesn't want to run this so all right what we can do first is you can see these guys are clearly traveling in this sort of direction so i'm guessing they would eventually pull each other in like this and then something like that will happen so they've pretty much collided there so this has 400 suns and mass wow that is that is going to know over at any second surely if we do this there you go so we have to manually do it and then we've got a black hole so well at least it runs a supernova I guess. At least that runs pretty fast. Okay, what have we got next? So, it looks like this black hole is heading in the same direction as the pistol. So, it looks like they're going to sort of meet up in this area here, just using my um, sort of prediction. But remember, this isn't accurate, but yeah, there you go. So, the black hole would eat up the star and nothing would be left because, yeah, putting a star next to a black hole, the black hole will probably win. It will just eat up the star. So, there's that. We've got big supernova gone off in our little Christmas themed. Planet 9 is just chilling out here, completely safe. So what have we got next? So it looks like, yeah, Saturn Saturn will crash into Eta Carinae, as you can see there. So we'll gobble that up. And then Eta Carinae B is going to go against Eta Carinae A. So you can clearly see they're pulling each other together. And then R13A2, that's probably going to go towards... Actually, we'll have to see, actually, where that heads. But yeah, Eta Carinae A and B, about to go on one-on-one -on -one right here. So... Let's see what happens. Oh, it's running a little quicker now. We're at four hours instead of one hour, so that's good. So it is speeding up slightly, so now we just have to watch as these two slowly get closer and closer. So this star has 55, and then the main star has 215 now, but it had a little less than that to begin with. So, right. This is going to go. There's no way. There we go. We have to manually do it again. So there's that. So we've got like a black-blue coloured supernova this time. So what is left? Any, any stars even left? Yeah, and that's a black hole. So all that's left is R136A2. That's the last surviving star. But I'm assuming eventually it's just going to crash into one of these um, black holes. So there's that. So if we just go ahead and do that. Get rid of all that stuff. All the stupid particles. So all that's left is one superstar. So this is our winner, pretty much. Look, it doesn't even have a Hathaway zone. That's just how bright it is. So Venus, you should just be completely gone at this point because you, you just there's no way. <laughs> the supernova should have cleaned you out a long time ago. But from previous episodes, we have seen that Venus does get a little buggy around supernovas. So there's that. So what's left? So that's all gone. So it's the Sun. Jupiter's the only planet left. 
How has this not lost all its mass yet? How is that? How is that even the thing? So let's see what happens. It is cooling down. What if we put it to zero degrees? Nope. Still wants to stay hot. So let's see. Look at our winners. So yeah, this is the most accurate we could pretty much do this since. Yeah, if we were going to try and watch it play out normally, it would have taken a very, very long time. So we've got three black holes in here. And we've got Planet 9, we've got Jupiter at a super hot temperature, we've got the Sun, and then all we've got left is this star. So I'm guessing that means, since there's only two stars left, let's merge the, all of the remaining objects. Let's put them all here, because they probably would attract each other eventually all into the same spot. So let's put Jupiter in the mix as well. And then Planet 9 is just going to stay out there, so... Let's drag all these together. Let's see what happens. So let's put the big star in the middle there. Alright. Oh, oh, did I crash it into the sun? Oh, well. Alright, here we go. <laughs> now we're really going to see what happens here. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Now it's running a little quicker. Is that it? Oh, my God. What is this from? <laughs> all these fragments. And these black holes are like in a binary orbit now. What is going on? There they are as well. Look, they're in a triple orbit. We made a triple orbit out of this. How do we manage that? Well, there you go. We made a triple orbit, or triple um, bi a trinary system actually. So, pretty cool, I guess. Look at that. So, we, yeah, we made it. We just made a trinary system. Cool. Unintentionally as well. That's that's pretty cool. So, yeah, there's that. So, slow down time. Look how fast that thing's orbiting. Though it's only taken a few hours to go around. So, pretty crazy stuff there. So, there's a um, a new triple black hole system from the remains of that. So, yeah, we've got all these black holes there. We've still got these weird supernova glitches. If you look on my screen, you see that supernova uh, won't disappear. That, I reckon they're the reason the simulation like lags and goes really slow. It's those weird black holes. So if we delete that, then all that's left is good old Planet 9 just chilling out here in complete darkness now. Apparently it's still hot in temperature, which makes no sense. So let's just go ahead and save this. And then let's see what our final outcome is for this system. So pretty hectic episode this has been actually since we couldn't really run the simulation after the first nova went off sadly so let's see how's the temperature on you doing there you go that's what should happen it should just cool down now so we've got planet nine just drifting through space because it's really far away and then we've got three black holes in a triple um trinary system there so there you go look trinary system literally working maybe we could make a solar system around this one day possibly well the simulation saved so it's right there so if we ever want to go back to it it's all there but yeah there we go so Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video and make sure if you did hit that like button, subscribe more, helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers there. Like I said, let's see if we can get it before the new year because that would be awesome. But yeah, there we go, guys. So yeah, what do you think of this? A bit of a shame the simulation couldn't load, but I really couldn't do anything about it. So apologies for that, I guess. That sucks. But yeah, there's that. So yeah, if you got guys got any ideas for any other videos, feel free to leave them down below. I always check the comments within 24 hours of the video being up. So... Yeah, there we go. Make sure you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.